Okay, so we have the lenses. The lenses. Right, we got high powered lens, low powered lens. For example, the 40 times objective. What's this thing off to the right? The arm. The arm. The arm supports the microscope when carried. And then these two knobs underneath. So the fine adjustment, which would be what? The bigger one or the smaller one? The smaller one. The fine focus adjustment knob moves the stage slightly to sharpen the focus. Okay, and so the coarse one. The coarse focus adjustment knob moves the stage up and down for focus. It's going to move our stage up and down. The coarse okay. is placed on the stage for viewing. We're going to click next. Start by making sure the microscope is plugged in. So the first thing we want to do is plug our microscope in. So since this is a virtual lab, we can do that. We're going to plug our microscope in. Take a Click next. Look at the nose piece. The number on the side of the objective lens indicates how many times larger it will make the image. Okay, so right, we should have times 10, times 40, times 100. We're not going to deal with the times 100 in real time. Okay. Rotate the nose piece to the lowest magnification, the 10 times objective. So Keep rotating the nose piece until you hear a click. This means oh. the lens is at the right position for use. Okay, so it should be times 10. Multiply the number on the objective lens by 10, the magnification of the eyepiece lens, to find the total magnification. For example, the 10 times objective would give you 10 times 10, or 100 times magnification. Okay. Any questions there? No. Okay. Now turn the light on. This brightens the image you see through the eyepiece. Okay, we're going to flick that little switch up, turn the lights on, and we should see that. You got to click it and drag it and pull it up. Oh. Okay, so that's, we'll click next. Let's look at the slide. It contains the sample of cultured yogurt from the dairy plant. The sample has been gram stained to differentiate gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Okay, that that doesn't mean anything to us because we're just trying to set up you the microscope. The on the stage of the microscope. Secure the slide to the microscope. Okay, so we're just going to take this slide, slide it in under the stage clip so it's secure. Click next. Use the diaphragm to adjust the amount of light that goes through the slide. You can start with a low amount of light and adjust to a higher level if the sample is too opaque. This takes practice. Adjust the diaphragm so more light comes through. Okay, so we're going to spin that thing, click and drag to the right till we get a lot of light. I see Ian's already there. Click next. It's time to focus the image. There are two knobs on a microscope used to focus the image. One is the coarse adjustment. The other is the fine adjustment. When focusing, always start with the coarse adjustment. This lets you focus the object relatively quickly. Okay, so we're going to start with the coarse adjustment. Which one was that? The larger one or the smaller one? Larger. The larger one. When viewing a sample, start with the 10 times objective and place the stage as close to the objective as possible. What do we notice? Uh, I did it too much. Right. So when we s move this course objective, w we notice that it moves the stage up closer to the clips. While looking through the eyepiece, slowly turn the course adjustment knob to lower the stage and bring the sample into focus. Turn the knob now and bring the image into focus. Right. We want to go slow enough to where. We're not going over it. Once you see a vague image, very carefully use the fine adjustment knob to make the image as sharp as possible. So once we've, once we've got a rough image, we don't want to touch the coarse adjustment knob anymore. We just want to touch the fine adjustment the knob. Fine focus knob. So we're going to spin that focus. until we get some focus. When you switch to higher magnification, Make sure the area you want to magnify is centered. Okay, so we got to center it. So we're just going to click and drag. The area is centered. We have the bacteria in focus on the low power objective, but the bacteria are too small for us to clearly see their shape, color, and other characteristics. Switch to the 40 times objective. 
multiply the 40 times of the objective by the 10 times of the eyepiece to get the total magnification of 400 times.